What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling. But today we're gonna do a little bacon and we're gonna do it with me, AV. Now check this out, you just seen that and now you guys are here trying to figure out how we gonna turn just regular oven baked chicken and we gonna send it over the top. Super easy, right? What we wanna do is we wanna change up from the same old, same old and then we gonna make this glaze, we are gonna put it on top and it's gonna raise the flavor profile up on this tremendously. Serve it over some rice, next to some rice and some veggies and you got a complete meal, super easy. Also, I wanna let you guys know, for all you guys that have been asking me about a cookbook, right? I am gonna release a cookbook this holiday season. You know what, it's gonna be a hardback. But right now, I just released my first volume one, you know, of eBooks. You guys gotta check it out. Listen, it's only five bucks. It's just a few recipes, but listen, you can put this in your arsenal, you know what, and just put a big smiles on your family and friends' face. Remember, five bucks, I'll put all the information down in the description box below, and I'm gonna pin it in the number one comment. Hey, so I don't over talk it because I feel like I'm going old. Let's go over these ingredients and let's just make this happen. Now, right here, I got some chicken thighs. Look, the bone is in here. You wanna do that, right? I'm probably just gonna make only six of these. You know what, you're only gonna need about two, two and a half pounds or whatever. You can put eight inside of a 13 by nine, you know, Pyrex dish. You can, they'll be nice, you know, they'll be tight. I do it all the time, but I'm only gonna make six of these, right? Now, I got salt, then we got pepper. Now here, I'm using branch and vine infused olive oil, right? And this is the garlic version. Listen, because we got garlic here. We just raising the garlic taste. And if you guys haven't got to, gotten this by now, you know, uh, I'm gonna put the information down in the uh, comment section below also, and in the description uh, box, so you guys can just check it out. We just leveling up everything we do. Hey, this is, you ask me, this really is a must have. Now, right here, I got garlic cloves. You can see that. I got six garlic cloves and we gonna go ahead and mince it. I'm gonna be using this tool right here. Since I discovered this, cause I've been seeing this for years, but since I discovered it, hey, you gonna always see this. No more chopping and mincing, you know, with a blade for me. Now, I'll be using garlic butter, you know, by Sweet Smokey Joe. If you guys haven't gotten this, you got, hey, listen, if you got the Creole kit, you got to have this. These three things right here, I'm gonna tell you, are a must have. We are gonna be doing a lot of cooking this holiday season with it. And this right here works on everything just as much as the Creole kick. Here, we got red pepper flakes. Now this right here is a tablespoon of just regular yellow mustard, right? And then here, I got two tablespoons. It was really like a little bit less than two tablespoons of, uh, look, this is that grainy Dijon mustard. This and this, <laughs> you know, hey, I don't wanna say nothing. I don't wanna spoil it, you guys gotta try it. And then right here, I got a couple of tablespoons of uh, honey. That right there, we gonna put all this together and then we gonna put this on top. But enough of that talking, you seen the ingredients, you see how simple this is. Now let's go ahead and get this and get it in the oven. Now, first thing we gonna do is we gonna preheat our oven. We gonna preheat it to 425 degrees. So I hit bake. I'm gonna raise this up to 425. And now we working. Okay, look, I've already washed my chicken and I've already patted it dry, right? I just wanna show you guys this. You can see right here, you can see all this extra skin right here. So I'm gonna take my knife. It's up to you guys. You can tuck it or you can cut it. Me, I'm just going to take it. I'm gonna clean it up just a little bit. You know what I mean? It, this part right here is totally up to you. Just getting rid of some of the excess skin, that's all. Just so that it's not so, so you know, so sloppy now take it once you have it like that now you see how i did like this i folded it in i could have did the same thing with the skin and folded it in like that right but i'm gonna just take it like this and i'm gonna just put it in a bowl now i'm gonna go ahead and continue with the rest of my pieces i'm gonna bring this over here and you guys will see it depends on what your who your uh whoever the, the the person that made the chicken you know what i mean whether you guys using tyson or whatever that'll determine how all this is because some companies they go you know they go above and beyond and trim everything but for me i like to just give it a little trim you don't have to spend a whole lot of time like that take it put it in a bowl now let me finish the rest of them then i'll show you the next step okay so you guys can see right here i got them all in here right so the next step is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start with the salt. I'm just gonna give it just a couple of little pinches. And remember, once we start moving this around, what it does is whatever ingredient we put on the top of here, it'll transfer onto the others, right? So now I'll get my fresh ground pepper. All 
right? And then this right here, this garlic butter right here, this seasoning right here is fire, you guys. Fire. Hey, just as much as we love that Creole kick, you'll love this too if you don't already have it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a, a little sprinkle like this. Don't forget, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. You know what, and I'll just move it around like this. This is fine, you know what I mean? Uh, it's, I mean, listen, because of these are big items, you know what I mean, we don't wanna just like toss it. I do it this way. You guys can get in there and do it with your hand too. You know, some people feel a certain way about, you know, when they're making chicken or whatever, but we're just gonna roll it around like this. And then if you feel like it's not enough, this is where we customize it, and you just add just a little bit more. You know what I mean? But this right here is gonna make this fire, folks. I promise you. And I'm gonna hit it with a little bit more of that, that fresh black cracked pepper. Now, and then you'll be able to see, you can look at the chicken. You guys, look, let me just get it close for you. You guys can see right there, you can see the seasoning on all of it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and set this off to the side. Now that we have that seasoned, go ahead and bring your bowl, right? So, <clears throat> get yourself a spatula. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put the remaining amount of our ingredients in this bowl. We're gonna whisk that together, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that on top of the chicken. Super simple and easy, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just start with the honey. And then listen, you guys wanna get yourself some of these small, you know, small spatulas. Look, it just make your life so much easier. I'm gonna go ahead and add chili flakes. Now I'm not gonna clean none of this cause listen, everything gets mixed together, right? So we gonna get all of this in here. Yellow mustard in. And now our Dijon, right? But we not done yet. Now we are gonna go ahead and put a couple of tablespoons, couple of tablespoons of this branching vine, this infused olive oil, right? And it's infused with garlic, right? So we are just gonna add just a couple of tablespoons of that. That right there. Not to mention that, you know, it just smell fire. Now, let me get these peeled and let's go ahead and put this, you know, let's get some minced garlic in there also. Okay, now I got my garlic peeled. I get to use my toy, right? So let's just go ahead and get this in here like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press it. And then you guys get to see it right there, right? And I'm gonna use this little, I don't know, I got this I think in some type of like cheese kit or something like that, but I'm gonna use this edge right here just to, you know, get it to, you know, come off, just like you see. So, we're just gonna keep pressing it, pushing that down. Put it in like that. Yeah. I'm just so happy that I don't have to like mince it no more. You know what I mean? This just makes everything so much faster. And then look, you need to, when it pushes off to the side, just go ahead, stick it back in there, put it on, cause we gonna press it all. Okay, so you just saw all of the ingredients go in. Let me just clean this off right here. Now what I'll do is, look, just take yourself a whisk. And what you wanna do is you just wanna whisk all of this together. That olive oil, look, makes it a little bit more viable, right? So it becomes a little bit more on the liquidy side. And this right here, we gonna pour it on top of that chicken. Then we gonna, you know, move it around, make sure it transfers good. Then we gonna go ahead and put it in our 13 by nine Pyrex dish. Now. Now this next part right here, like really is self-explanatory, right? You see what it looks like, you know what we got when we, you know, stir it up and get everything onto our chicken, right? Now we just wanna pour all of our glaze, you know what I mean, and that semi-marinade on top of the, you know, the chicken. Then go ahead and get yourself, you see I'm using a wooden, uh, a wooden spoon. You can use that, any type of rubber product, whatever. Listen, it's just less that you gotta deal with as far as washing your hands. Now, when you get your 13 by nine Pyrex uh, dish, I want you guys to notice that I didn't even spray it. It's clean. Don't forget, we use olive oil, right? So that olive oil mixed along with the fat, you know, from the chicken is gonna create something real nice where it doesn't even stick. Hey, how about that? Now, you can see the six fit in there just fine. Now, I could have put it eight in there, but for video purposes, I just went ahead and went with the six, right? So get yourself a spatula, clean out your bowl, pour everything inside of there. Right? Now that's what it looks like. Now check this out. If you notice, I'm not going to even cover it. You at 425 degrees at 35 minutes, it's going to make the skin just right and it's going to be perfect. Now just put it in the oven. All right. So here we go. You guys can see 
it's done. Look, the presentation is right, right here. Now just all you gotta do is just imagine this on top of a bed of rice and some vegetables. This right here is what you guys are looking for. And I can promise you in just a short amount of time, you guys are gonna be able to smell it throughout your whole place. Now, let me go ahead, take a couple of pictures of it like this. Then we are gonna go ahead and plate and we finna cut and eat. All right, so look, now it's time to plate. Check it out. Get my tongs. I'm gonna go ahead and get me a couple of these pieces right here. Put them down, look at that, you can see Look at that glaze on there. I can tell you, and if you count how many is in here right now, that's one, two, three, four, and five. Look, I done already ate one. And when I tell you it's fire, it's fire. You know what, that's, that's chef's choice. All right, we'll get this right here. And we'll just add that right there, just like you see. Got that rice, got me a scoop of the green beans. And listen, hey, you know what? I'm not gonna over talk it. I'm getting ready to cut this. So let me just get my knife. Turn this around the way you see it right here. You know what I mean? Let's just go ahead and cut this right here. Just like that. Let's start off with this little piece right here. Now, all I can tell you is, folks, it's going down. Mmm. -hmm. You know, I'm gonna have to go in again before I even give you a description. Check it out. Here we go again. Mm. Nice and tender. That 35 minutes, that's it. 425. Mm. Now, let me try to give you a description, right? My brain say as soon as you put it on your tongue, you know, once it hits that palate, look, you taste the hint of the honey. You know, you take the you taste the Dijon mustard. You know, you taste it all. And listen, those red pepper flakes, I went ahead and used a half a teaspoon. For those of you guys that like to have a lot of heat, go ahead and just double that and make it a tea, you know, a, a full teaspoon. But a half a teaspoon, just let you know you got a little, you know, a little heat right there. Hey, you gotta try this, then you gotta come back. You gotta let me know down in the comment section below. Hey, tell me, did this level up your baked chicken game? Now, <clears throat> don't forget, I got it, you know, I told you guys in the very beginning, I got that ebook out. Listen, that, I just wanna say that's out by popular demand. Everybody been asking that. Look, this is volume one. I'm gonna say the next three or four volumes, they're gonna be themed. We're gonna do crock pot, you know, that that uh, that slow cooker theme ebook. And of course, the holidays are here, right? And we're gonna do some holiday themed ebooks also. Hey, so with that being said, listen, it's priced just right. Go out, get it. Don't forget all of the information to be down in the description box below. And I'm gonna put it in the number one comment so you guys can see it even just that much more easily. So with that being said, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking and as you guys just seen i need to go ahead and hit a little bit of that rice get some of them green beans and cut some of that chicken put all that on one fork and put it in my mouth and we finna eat folks and that being said i'm out of here peace